It's often helpful here to get the patient to hold their hands out to start with when you're examining the upper limbs and close your eyes for me. This is often a useful guide and you can see here that there's a little downward drift of the fingers of both hands. That's fine. Just relax now. Let everything go quite loose. And here, examining tone, both at the wrist and at the elbow, I can detect a little increase of tone on pronation and supination and at the elbow. On the left side, but on the right side it's all quite normal. Assessing power, can you keep your arms up for me? Don't let me push them down, keep them up hard as you can. And there is weakness of shoulder abduction on the left side. Just push me away hard as you can. That's good. Push me away hard as you can. That's good. And there's weakness of elbow extension as well on the left. Bend your elbow up. That's good. Bend your elbow up. That's right. Elbow flexion is quite strong on both sides. Bring your wrist up. That's good. Wrist up. That's weak. Keep your fingers out. Don't let me push them down. That's good. Fingers out. Don't let me push them down. That's weak. Grip me tight. Tight as you can. That's good. Grip tight. That's fine. There's a little weakness of grip on the left-hand side as well. Spread your fingers very wide. Wide as you can. That's good. Spread wide. And that's clearly uh, weak there. I'm just turning your hand over. Keep your thumb up there. Don't let me push it down. Mark weakness. Keep it up. Now just relax a little. Keep it just there and don't let me push it down. And that's a little weak on that side as well. If we come to the legs. And once again, we'll look first of all at tone. And I think it's fairly clear that there's an increase of tone here with sustained ankle clonus. And the same on this side. Ankle clonus not quite so evident, but a very clear increase. And if we attempt to lift the leg off the bed under normal circumstances, it should, the heel should just travel along the bed and here it's quite abnormal. Uh, now, can we get you to lift your leg up for me? Keep it up as hard as you can. And that's weak. Lift up for me. And that's also weak. Now, just push down into the bed hard as you can. Don't let me lift it up. Little weakness there. Push down hard. And there. Bend your knee. That's good. Can you keep your heel into your bottom? Sorry. All right. That's good. Keep your heel into your bottom. Don't let me straighten it out. I can overcome that easily. And here, don't keep it in. And again, I can overcome that easily. Keep your leg out straight now. Don't let me bend it. And quadriceps is a good deal stronger. That's good. Pull your feet up for me, both of them. And there's a little weakness of ankle dorsiflexion, which is more marked on the left than the right. Pull your toes up towards me. Keep them up hard. Up hard. And there's a little weakness there. We can't really assess uh, ankle plantar flexion on the bed uh, because even uh, with marked weakness, the gastronemius and soleus muscles are uh, very strong. Uh, and in order to test that properly, you need to get the patient standing up and standing on their tiptoes. We'll now turn to examination of the reflexes.